So I would say it's Jeff. This is David. Hi, David. Let's play Quarren. Yeah. What's behind the bars? Last. Yeah, last we left it off. We're in jail. Oh. All right. Okay, so that's one. That's two. Two is the telescope. Mm hmm. One is. I'm not sure. I don't know if I've seen that symbol with a one next to it yet. Okay. So this is one of them. And let's see. Do I have any notes on this? I don't think I do. Yeah, do, you, do you remember no. the last things you were thinking at the end of the last recording episode? Uh, that we found that this door had opened. Yes. That there was another door we could go to. This building. Because it is the bureau, cabinet, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh, I wonder what this is. Uh, I think that you might be able to intuit this one. We'll yeah, see. Yeah. Okay. So there's that. But then there's another one behind it. Interesting. So let's see. Up, up, down. Up, up, down, down. Up, down, up. Ding, 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 ding. What are you? I don't know why my voice just. Hmm. Telescoping. Ah. Let's see. Looks like a tool with a hexagonal top. Probably to hold something. Mm, yeah. yeah. I, I wonder. Kind of figured that one out, but. Uh huh. Good tool, good tool tip. I encode these as uh, snare drum sticking oh, patterns. <laughs> right, left, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> Or I guess yeah. uh, I guess they might think make make I guess I think a bit more as a um a drum beat between a snare drum and a bass drum. Uh it's like that second did I just one. Go the wrong way again. Uh yes. You go through the you have to Continue go through the on, door. Sorry. Yeah, you have to go through the hole. Yeah, the door. So that second code, up down 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 up down up up down down. Mm hmm. To, in, in my head, that's. And I'm like, ah, got it. <laughs> <laughs> so just put uh, in the code. Alright, yeah, you know. Uh, so that was. Ta -tu -ku. Ta -tu. And then a paradiddle. Down, up, up. Up, down, up, up. Mm hmm. Then two downs. And then two downs. Ah. Tink, 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 Very tink. good. Right of jail. <gasps> cool. Oh. Uh, safety. Uh, that's not. Okay. Did I leave my safety torch? No. Very good. Got a sprocket. Let's see what the letter has got. By now, it must be obvious to you that I connected these marked doors and entrances to the main energy converter unit. Actually, this feature has nothing to do with the crystal battery machine's main purpose at all. I've implemented this secondary function in order to direct you along the path and prevent you from spoiling my well-structured course. When the converter is fully powered, meaning that all the batteries are in place, it supplies energy to the mechanics. I can only hope that she will not interfere with our work. She's but a desperate echo of a fallen civilization lingering here agelessly. 
it is clear that she is not worthy of the gift that has been given to her. You know, I was holding out hope that the dude was not maybe crazy. I was. I guess we'll see. The subtitle uh. of the game is Undying Thoughts. So I have a suspicion that maybe he is not bodily but is still sticking around. Yeah. If to and true. true interpret it more literally. Trivial Pursuit Key. Right. Very good. Yep. One. Yes, one. It's it's too many wedges, but that's fine. Uh, let's see. Was there anything else here? No. Okay, what about over here? Very good. All right. Oh, Luckily... We've pursued the trivia all the way to the here, to the wall. Yeah. One, two, three. Uh, no, that's... Wait. It goes bottom to top is what this is telling me. Mm hmm And it's... Okay. So that means do the outside ring first is how I'm, I'm interpreting that? No, that doesn't make sense. Is it saying no? Okay. So, I'm not entirely sure what the up arrow means. Mm hmm. Um. Because, so, some differences I can see. It's one, two, three, and four. Mm -hmm. are upright. Oh, they're upright. Okay. So, one, two, three, four. Five is an upright cross, and if there isn't an upright cross, I've failed? Unless that's all there is. So, it's bang, 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 bang. Bang. Darn. <laughs> <laughs> it seems to be wanting more well, I figured out some of it. <laughs> um, so that's... Okay, so that's four. Mm hmm Hmm. So this is the only f five. That's that not five. See. Do you s that's not what five looked like on the 12-sided uh, the dial. It isn't? Yeah. It's just a, it's just a tally mark system. Oh, is that six then? Mm hmm. Oh, then I forgot what five looks like, which is right here. Ah. Mm -hmm. Which one? Ah. What? It's it's this one right here. That's a five. That's a it? nine. Wait. Okay, so five? Yes. Okay. Cool. So that'd be five, six, Five, six. You know, I'll just hit those two first. He says immediately forgetting where the. Okay. <laughs> and then. That one. Okay, six. Now I need seven, which is that one. Eight is. Ah? Mm hmm. No. <laughs> oh. What? It appears to have reset. Okay, I feel like I might be missing some thing. Why is this door here? I don't know. For a metagame, I assume that there would be like something that happens there later. It seems mm. like when you walk out, it seems very scenic. Mm -hmm. So I kind of assume again I have not have not completed the game yet I just assume that there might be something there later that you have to come and look at oh like maybe the background changes or something or there's the shape of the island in the distance is important for some other puzzle or something okay uh, I do not so assume that I... there's any wasted space right because it's a it's a game made by not a huge studio
<laughs> Is this something? Okay. okay, so I'm gonna take the ones that are filled in here. Okay. And assume those are the ones I need to press in. Okay. So now... Uh, 13 is... Eh. No, 14. Eh? Um, 15 is... Eh, yep, 15 is 1. Uh, oop, just to make sure... Yes. There we go. Sweet. So that was the first door. And now I need to go in descending order based on the one near the telescope. Oh, wait. Wait, did I take a picture of the one near the telescope? My hubris. <laughs> My hubris. It's it's fine. It's just a jog around the side. No big deal. All right. Hold on. But, uh... oh, come on. Let me put the other Okay, I now have an actual laser. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Will it let me light this tree on fire? I assume not. I don't. I don't think yeah. so. Yeah. Yeah. Just gonna yeah just gonna I have to use the there. the eye zoom I'm just gonna leave this at no <laughs> and come All back right. and everything's just on fire just actively mm. burning down mm. it's like um, I can't help but think that oops. this is not my fault <laughs> it's everyone's <laughs> fault but my own <laughs> All right, and now we have return. Now, I feel like since it flipped upside down, mm -hmm. that makes me think that this also flipped upside down. So... Okay. Bear with me. Uh... Use the Windows key Shift S. This is the snip tool. Thank you. You can just draw a box around it and we'll uh, put it on your clipboard. Yeah. Uh, I assume you're. Uh, I know because you're, you're capturing your your computer, so I assume that yeah the the folks at home will be able to see some of this. So I'm only getting the window. Right, right. Let's go, Gimp. All right. <laughs> Bring, bring in the... Nope. Uh, Control... Shift... Escape? Um, no! What are you trying to do? There's a hotkey for deselect. Hold on. It's not just Control-D? Uh... Is it? Does that also work? No! Uh, I guess that's duplicate in Gamp. Alright. <clears throat> Welcome to another episode of Drawfee. <laughs> I'm your host, <laughs> <We're> Jeff. <laughs> And I'm Karina. <laughs> if only. Uh, I did like that she made a Houston reference, and I got it. And I think... <laughs> You're like, I feel seen. <laughs> well, and you can use whatever method you want, I guess. But my first method was, like, making just blotches. So I know that these are the ones that are in the code. And then after okay. that, overlaying like what I thought the order was. Well, it was a three-step process. One, blotches. <laughs> Two, the actual number that the tally says. All and right. then three, what I think the order is. So I did those with like different colors. So like, okay, red numbers and then green numbers. And then look All at right. the green numbers. This is my, this is my visual uh, method. Right. 
All right. Uh, shift escape. Control escape. That was the Windows key. <laughs> nope. Control escape is the Windows key. Good to know. We're just going to... All right. Um, uh, nope, nope. Merge down. That's what I wanted to... Hold on. Image canvas size. Uh, image. And then canvas yeah, it's size. Yeah, image. Sorry. Nope. It's, uh, uh, it's like fifth. Canvas yeah. to layers. Okay. That one is at least... Um, well, I there mean, we a lot of it is very similar to Photoshop, but that one seems to be yes. the same as Photoshop on that particular yeah. one. So. Okay, cool. So okay. now... This is the pasted layer. I can, well, you know, I'll just throw another one on there. Ascending. Ascend. Okay, ascending from whatever the range one. within the purple is. So obviously, it didn't start at one. Yep. So it starts two. Okay, just two. Because it's three. either going, then it's either because it's either going ascending or descending. So I figure if I do it one way, I'll just remember. Um, all right. For, so for, the, got... for just 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 to, just to humor me, can you just use an Arabic numeral? <laughs> Instead of something that looks like a bold one, <laughs> the one looks the same, right? But the the, the hash mark on the uh, oh boy, oh boy, <laughs> we're gonna Roman numeral it up. All right, that's fine. The uh, the the little uh, the little pipes on the top and bottom it, it just does help with the separation there. <laughs> All right, so four is eh? It is not one. Five is eh? So that is one. No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> Sorry. Wow. Hmm. Thank you mm -hmm. for being here. Mm -hmm. Six. Six. So though. that that is three. Yeah. Very good. Classic tally. Uh, classic. Yeah. Classic tally. Well, more a classic tally is like a. She's got a little face mask, and then she's got the hood, and it flares back, uh -huh. and then she's got the neck, and then there's the shoulders. Yeah, this, this is definitely a this is definitely a speed draw, a Karina speed yeah. draw. No, a Karina speed draw still looks immaculate. I would say she just puts the little cartoons in the middle when she's like taking a break. <laughs> oh right, yeah, that's true. Uh, you gotta come up with a new one. I know. I'm trying to remember. Lucky seven. Lucky sevens. Okay. So that's 11. So where's 12? 12 is there. Okay. So that's 8. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. That is all of them. Okay. I yeah. Think we, I think we've got a code. We've got a code so I'm gonna, a, within a code, but there's a code there. Yeah. All right. So it's just going to say bye. Uh, five, four, three, two, I have to rotate the guide too, don't I? That's an interesting thought. Worth a try. Yep. You're with me, just. I'm one gonna second. eat some garlic bread. Ow. Oh. <laughs> so, it takes some context, which you know, I was proud that it was. I got there in time because you know, timing is very important for these kinds of stupid puns. Right. Uh, but the context is: I work on a video game that is related to real life cars. Mm -hmm. uh, and also that uh, one of one of the code names for um, the uh, Xbox development kits is to say the the non the non NDA stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. One of them is called Dante, kind of like a you know like a whatever. They always have weird names. This one mm -hmm. is you know, Dante, like everyone's everyone's second favorite. Uh, son of Sparta. First one is, of course, Virgil. <laughs> <sighs> Fighting words, man. Fighting words. Not for me. I agree, but... I like Dante. But Dante isn't really... He is, he's not a sword summoner. He's never motivated, you know? Right. 
Virgil, now he's motivated. I digress. Uh, yeah. So those two pieces of information as a little as a setup. Okay. It was, it was mentioning that uh, that a Mercedes was not being used in a particular whatever we were doing at the time that isn't important for you know, the internet to know. Mm-hmm. So I said, I posted a picture of Mercedes from Gonkutsuo, <laughs> which is, of course, the anime adaptation of The Count of Monte Cristo. With the with the with the caption of poor Mercedes, it is a known fact that she loves Dantes. <laughs> and very good. I just want to say that I was very proud of that. <laughs> and, and you should be. I, I followed it up by saying that I was very proud of that dumbass pun. Uh, pun. <laughs> that one only works in text, but still. <laughs> <sighs> For those who are unaware, Alexander Dumas, you spell his last name D-U-M-A-S. Yes, there's a extra layers there. I was very proud. And it just reminded me how much I really, really like Count of Monte Cristo. <laughs> the anime? Uh, no, just the story. Oh, that's true. It's like the best uh, revenge story. Yeah, maybe consider not reading the book. The uh, the movie with uh, Jim Caviezel as uh, Edmund Dantes. Fantastic. Two thumbs up. Why did I flip things like that? I don't know. Okay. Uh, also, if you're watching the anime, which has a great sort of fabulous yeah. Rococo art style where all the textures have uh, screen space UV coordinates, um, the, uh, the count or Gonkutsuo. Well, it, it takes a weird anime direction because it's still an anime adaptation of the thing. So there's, mm-hmm. there's, it's like space France and there's like space stuff. And the explanation for the Count of Monte Cristo's wealth is like a bizarre sci-fi anime thing. But that's neither here nor there. Uh, the Count yeah. is voiced by everyone's favorite, Jameson Price. Nice. Like a good deep voice. Old Man Near. I have gotten things turned around somehow. Okay. Uh, 1516 is one. Okay. That should be all eight. Should be. Yes. So now this is going back. Wait, I can't do that yet because I have to stop streaming. I'm going to switch the windows around. Good. Huzzah. All right. All right. That took an embarrassing amount of time. Oh. Hmm. All right. So we've got to Indiana Jones it. Which and means, ain't that always the way, you know? Yeah. So that means I need to I, make. I have a feeling that you might have. You might already a step. have. Hold of. No, I think that you might already have an idea of what you what you need to do based on previous right. episodes. So I'm going to nab another one of these batteries. Okay. Um. Just so I've got something that's the exact same. Um, Wait for what I'm trying to do. Mm-hmm. This was not the fastest door to use. This is in fact wasn't the even the right side of the island. Yeah, that's fine. Everything's fine. It's a small island. It doesn't take too long to jog across yeah. to the other side. Okay. So first, I'm going to dump that. Then I'm going to. Put that right there. Then I'm going to count. One, two, three, four, four. 
Okay. So now I should be able to set the bucket right there and then find the spoon again. And then one, two, three. I did a different amount because maybe this bucket weighs more. It ah, does. Excellent. The bucket weighs <laughs> one. Very good. Yeah. Am I, do you want to tell him, audience at home, or should I tell him? Okay. No, he figured it out. I thought about it too <laughs> as I was picking it up. It's In like, your brain, you're right, like, I need wait. This. It's like, I need to pick it up so that I can get the weight on it, but then I need to put it back so I can reaccess that space. All right, so now I. Squeeze. Huzzah. Uh oh. Who are you that wanders this world uninvited? Another explorer? What are you seeking? Power? Immortality? Or are you just a fool looking for salvation? You can't simply enjoy the power of Quernaluk, not without consequences. You must leave the same way you came here, for your own sake. Uh, how did I get here? Let well, so you the, know. The gateway, but the gateway's not working, so. Yeah. Even, even if you were to heed her advice, I don't really have any way right. off, so. Yep. So now, just to see if she deposited. Hmm. All right. Well, time to throw in another battery. Mm hmm. Okay, so that gives me potion and pickaxe. But first, while I'm thinking about it, was. Okay. Very good. Stop it. All right, so this is where me taking a lot of pictures last time is good. Mm -hmm. uh, so I don't have gear yet, but I do have pickaxe. Mm -hmm. Potion was... Okay... It makes sense where the potion was. But pick sort of is right potion. here. Mm -hmm. I wonder what's in there. Guess we won't know until next time. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> if you enjoyed what we do here, you can support us on Patreon. Do it monthly. Hold on. I'm, you can also uh, do the like, comment, and subscribing. That's the YouTube stuff. That also helps us out a lot. Uh, and that helps us make more of this a little bit easier. Quirr. I'm the one playing. I get to say that. Okay. Quirr. Pickaxe game. Pickaxe game. Duma. Mercedes. It's fun to say. <laughs> you just just say it with the accent. Mercedes. Take all the take all take all the e sounds and Mercedes, and instead of pronouncing each one a different way, pronounce them all the same way. Mercedes. Mercedes. <laughs>